Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Kyle Tietz. Today in our readings and in our saint, we're invited to reflect upon the theme of truth. And maybe this morning, the cold, hard truth. It's a little chilly outside today. A um, little unexpected there. But Jesus says in the gospel today that he's going to send the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, who will lead us to all truth, lead us to the fullness of truth. Remember, truth is one of the transcendental qualities of God, that as we draw closer and deeper into the truth, we're drawing closer to God. And in our reading, first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles and in our saint, Saint Bede, I think we find the, seed, uh, the theme of seeds of faith, or seeds of truth, seeds of truth. And the early Christian fathers would talk about these as the logoi spermaticoi. Okay, so my Greek's any good here too. Seeds of the truth. That looking around in the cultures and in the writings and in the classics and in the philosophies, there were things that the Christians could pick out and say, that's partly true, or that's a seed of the truth here. Uh, we have the fullness of truth in Christianity, but we can begin with this, we can use this, or we can invite someone from this to a more explicit and deeper understanding of the truth. Today we celebrate Saint Bede, 8th century saint uh, from around England, and he wrote, one of his works was the Ecclesiastical History of the English People, beginning from the time of Julius Caesar up to his present time, looking and seeing how Christianity grew and developed in the English people. And he was very familiar with the classics and classical writers and used those things and even some of the truths and good signs of the early English people that pointed towards Christianity, recognizing those seeds of truth and building off of them. And then our first reading today, Acts of the Apostles, will have one of my favorite speeches by St. Paul. He walks into the Areopagus in Athens, so people very familiar with Greek culture and Greek gods. And he says, you Athenians, I see that you are a very religious people. For as I was walking through the temple area, I saw even an altar ascribed to the unknown God. And then he says, now, therefore, what you worship unknowingly, I proclaim to you in truth. And he proclaims the truth of God and the truth of the resurrection. And so people are like, oh, we'd like to hear a little bit more about this resurrection. But see how this pattern works here. He recognized the seeds of truth and ready in these Athenian people, and he builds off that. He says, look, this is a good thing. Allow me to invite you deeper now. It's an invitation today, brothers and sisters, that important for us to be attuned at times with the culture and certainly the classics and, and philosophy and things as well around us, and being attuned especially to the things that are helpful or truths in seminal form, in seed form, beginning form that can point deeper towards Christianity. And especially in our interactions with others, always good to point out the good things that are happening already. Maybe the seeds of truth that work in someone's life, even if they're not living out the fullness of the Christian faith. We can say, okay, they're practicing this virtue. That's a good thing. Now, how can we invite them away from sin and wait and closer to the Lord and other aspects as well? Or just to think, you know, someone has a really deep sense of the importance of sharing a meal with others and say, that's a good thing. That's a seed of truth there because we gather together to share a meal of the Lord, the Eucharist. So dear brothers and sisters today, we thank God for sending his spirit of truth. We thank him for the seeds of truth around us. We pray that we might be more attentive to these to help foster them like St. Paul and St. Bede did, to encourage them to grow, to become more explicit, more deep, more true, closer to the Christian faith. God bless you. Have a great day.